As government undertakes this mammoth task, the nation's chief has appointed Minister Shane Gibson to oversee the relief effort. Frank Carey has this angle of the story. The government assuring residents here in the capital and on Grand Bahama and North Andros that they will be given equal and urgent attention as efforts continue to help them rebuild their lives and homes following the passage of Hurricane Matthew. National Coordinator for the Hurricane Matthew Relief, Recovery, Reconstruction and Restoration Efforts, the Honorable Shane Gibson, says food and water have already been delivered to North Andros where a command center has been established. He said teams are also on the ground here in Nassau and Grand Bahama and are working aggressively to bring relief to storm ravaged areas. We have a tremendous task ahead of us which will require the removal of territorial boundaries that often exist between government ministries and departments. The Grand Bahama Power Company have begun assessments and in conjunction with the utility company as of Sunday, October 9th today, restored utility services and some residents are now receiving running water from the hours of 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. daily. In southern New Providence, where many residents lost everything in their homes due to flooding, efforts are underway to complete technical and social assessments on those residential properties. In fact, even in the Golden Gates, we have areas where um, roofs were blown off, um, massive damage to homes, um, in the area, as the Prime Minister said, uh, many of the vehicles were water damaged, which would require the replacement vehicles. And of course, um, as we walked into those areas, in most of the houses, all of the furnishings were damaged and destroyed, all of them, in most of the houses. Technical assessments are also being conducted on government buildings here in the capital. And over on Grand Bahama, Mr. Gibson said a massive cleanup effort is underway to prevent the spread of diseases by contaminated floodwaters. At the same time, he said social and technical assessments are also being conducted on that northern island. The Rand Memorial Hospital and outlying clinics, including Hawksville Clinic, Eight Mile Rock Clinic, and High Rock Clinic, are operating exclusively on generator suppl power supply. Services at the temporary clinic at West End have been relocated to Eight Mile Rock Clinic due to extensive damage. Ophthalmology services, mammography services, and the Grandmama Health Services system have been suspended. Frank Keery, Southern Network News.